Instruction Manual Protein Loading Buffer and Marker Filter-Free Transfer Sponges Electrophoresis Buffer Granules Rapid Transfer Buffer Granules PVDF Membrane Precast Gel Protein-Free Rapid Blocking Buffer Rapid Wash Buffer Rapid Antibody Diluent ECL Substrate Solution A and B Take out the protein loading buffer and protein marker, and centrifuge at low speed for 10 seconds. Add one fourth volume of protein loading buffer to the test sample, then boil in water for 5 minutes. Pour the electrophoresis buffer granules into 400 milliliters of deionized water, stir until dissolved. Then add deionized water to a final volume of 500 milliliters. Check if the seal ring of the electrophoresis cassette holder is flat. If the seal ring protrudes, remove it and reinstall it reverse side out to ensure the flat surface faces outward. Tear open the precast gel package. Remove the gel slowly pull out the comb. And remove the bottom sealing tape. With the short plate of the precast gel facing. Inward toward the electrophoresis apparatus. Insert the gel into the cassette holder and lock it securely. Place the cassette holder into the electrophoresis tank. Add buffer to inner chamber until submerging wells. Stand one minute to check leaks. Then add buffer to outer tank to one third volume. Load 5 to 25 microliter sample vertically into wells. Then load 2 to 5 microliter protein marker. Cover the electrophoresis tank and connect the power supply. Set the voltage to 150 volts and run for 35 to 50 minutes. Stop when die front reaches gel bottom, or when the marker bands are sufficiently separate. Prepare transfer buffer during electrophoresis. Dissolve transfer buffer powder in 800 milliliters water. Add 100 milliliters ethanol. Then bring to 1 liter with water. Place sponge pads into a container of suitable size, with sufficient transfer buffer, and equilibrate at room temperature for at least 3 minutes, using clean forceps. Gently grasp the edge of the PVDF membrane, and immerse it in methanol for at least 1 minute. Then transfer the membrane to transfer buffer. And equilibrate at room temperature for at least 3 minutes. Remove the precast gel cassette. Insert a gel releaser tool into the gap on both sides of the cassette plates. Until they separate completely. Carefully remove the gel. And equilibrate it in transfer buffer at room temperature for 3 minutes. On the black side of the transfer clamp. Assemble in the following order. Sponge pad. Precast gel, PVDF membrane, sponge pad. Then lock the transfer clamp securely. Ensure no air bubbles. Insert transfer clamp with black side facing tank's black side. Add transfer buffer to submerge the transfer cassette. Set the current to 400 mA. And transfer at room temperature for 20 to 30 minutes. Add 10 milliliters of protein-free rapid blocking buffer into an incubation box. Quickly place the transferred membrane into the box. Place on a shaker and block at room temperature for 10 minutes. Dilute the primary antibody in 3 to 5 milliliters rapid antibody diluent. According to the manufacturer's recommended ratio, Remove and discard the blocking buffer. Add 3 to 5 milliliters of the primary antibody working solution. Incubate at room temperature on a shaker for 15 minutes. Prepare wash buffer and secondary antibody during incubation. Add 50 for milliliters deionized water to 6 milliliters of concentrated rapid wash buffer. 
Dilute the secondary antibody in 3 to 5 milliliters rapid antibody diluent. According to the manufacturer's recommended ratio, after primary antibody incubation, completely remove and recover the primary antibody solution. Add 10 milliliters wash buffer working solution. Wash by shaking for 30 seconds. Repeat this wash step three times. Add 3 to 5 milliliters of secondary antibody working solution. Incubate at room temperature on a shaker for 5 minutes. Completely remove and recover the secondary antibody solution. Add 10 milliliters wash buffer working solution. Wash by shaking for 30 seconds. Repeat this wash step 3 times. Prepare ECL working solution by mixing reagent A and B at a 1 to 1 ratio. Place the incubated membrane into an imaging cassette. Add 1 milliliter of ECL working solution onto the membrane. Place the cassette into the detection instrument for imaging.